All right, I'm currently in the San Bernardino National Forest. I had plans after Zion to go to Joshua Tree for a bit, but I underestimated the May heat in California and made the decision to stay at higher elevation. So it's about a cool 65 up here right now, super enjoyable temperatures and Joshua Tree was forecasted to be eh, between 95 and slightly over 100 so pretty sound in my decision to not stay in Southern California but I'm finding that there is plenty of climbing here so I should have no shortage of routes to find around me and I was able to score a super cool campsite, so all is not lost. I did somehow manage along the way to forget all my shoes. So for this trip I have a pair of mountaineering boots and my Crocs. So Crocs are the approach shoes for this trip. So far, so good, but we'll see how it goes. That's Keller Peak there. And we're camped over here in Camp 6. And down there, hidden behind the smog. San Bernardino. Alright, so this is where we got to make camp. It's Camp 6 on Keller Peak Road. Pretty sweet. They've got free established camping. So, we are all set up and ready to rock. Pretty cool site, could accommodate a lot of people actually. I'm not sure what the rules are, but you could fit a lot of tents in here. And you can almost see the top of Keller Peak behind that tree. But we're pretty close to the summit here. I think uh, 3.8 miles by road, so not far. Only the best. He likes the camp. Okay, I'll, I'll play. Thanks.
Alright, so this morning I am walking to the top of Keller Peak and although you can drive to the top and I did yesterday I didn't feel like I could fully appreciate the views while driving so I figured I would go for a sunrise hike rather than summit this morning and check them out this will be my first taller California summit and curiously two for two with radio towers kind of funny Beautiful morning, the sun must just be cresting the horizon because I can see the tops of the trees are starting to glow. Be brave enough to drive down this. Clouds are low today. Foggy down in the valley, it must be. I'm not sure. Definitely worth the walk, and a pretty easy walk at that. I mean, if any two wheel drive car can make it up, and I can do it in my Crocs, can't be too hard, right? Fire lookout. There's the radio tower. I left my FM radio in the car, but I'm sure if I had it, it would be a great signal right now.
So I was walking down and saw this plaque that says, this plaque is dedicated to the brave men and women who have served in the armed forces of the United States of America, who died in the service of their country on Keller Peak. December 30th, 1941, aboard aircraft number 40-1475 in bad weather, this B-26 collided with the North Slope. All aboard were killed. Pretty crazy. All right, and back to the car. That was a nice leisurely hike, fit for children or someone who's not comfortable with exposure. Uh, and the whole way up, I never saw one car, or down either. So, all in all, a nice way to spend the morning.